and I can rename a group. So let me actually show you semantic zoom using my mouse. And just like that, I've brought up semantic zoom with my mouse. And I can rename a group. So let's say this group of applications are the apps that my kids play. And so to make it really simple, I can simply name this group kids so that they can quickly know where to go to find the games that they play most often. So one of the other things I also wanted to show is how apps can work together to create powerful experiences in Windows 8. We built technology into Windows 8 called App Contracts that lets your app opt in to access information from other apps. So let me show you an example of this. I'll open up a newsreader app, and you can see I've got a recipe feed in this case. And so I will select this mac and cheese recipe that I think my kids will like. And so I want to share it with my husband so he can uh, make that for them at home. So I'll swipe my finger from the right to bring forward um, charms. And I'll use the share charm, which lets me share files with other, and other information with apps on my PC. So I'll take this recipe and using a friend send app that we created, send a message to uh, my husband with the recipe. There's veggies in here, so I don't think they'll notice those. And off it goes. And the best part is I was able to share this recipe without leaving the app. And it's great for developers because now they can write apps that work closely with Windows features like sharing and with other apps to make the experience better and even richer for consumers. So let me show you how I can work with two apps at once. So let me bring up the familiar desktop, which is just one click away in Windows 8. And I'll open up this Word document. So one of my New Year's resolutions is to do my part to help the family eat even healthier this year. So I've been compiling a list of recipes. I can't cook, but I can compile. So that's what I'm doing. So if I want to refer back to the uh, mac and cheese recipe from earlier, I can bring that in and use Snap and actually view this side by side. And this saves me time, and it lets me see these two apps at once. And apps, they know how to best display their information in this vertical format, as well as with the full screen. Well, there's more information um, here that I want to see. So I'll go to this story in the Newsreader app and launch the new Metro-style Internet Explorer. With Metro Style IE, websites are immersive, as you can see, and they use the whole screen. This site has my full attention. And when I want to see my open tabs or the address bar, I just swipe in from the bottom of the screen, just as I do with other Metro Style apps. And when I touch a web page, it is immediately responsive. It literally sticks to my finger. Panning is smooth. Zooming is easy. So let me zoom in on this story. It's immediate, very smooth. And now, in this case, I'll follow a link and actually finish this story. And again, the site uses the full screen and has my full attention. And to go back, I can just swipe, and I'm back to where I was. Browsing here is natural with touch-first browsing. So MetroStyle Internet Explorer delivers plug-in-free browsing, relying on the power of HTML5 so that it's possible to experience the safest and most reliable browsing available. So for example, people spend a lot of time watching videos on the web. So here's that same video that we were looking at earlier on the big screen uh, running here in HTML5. This is the power of an HTML5 video. The new Metro Style browser takes advantage of hardware acceleration to offer a great playback experience. So what you just saw is a small slice of Windows 8 with so much more to come. 
Windows 8 will offer a no-compromise experience, the best of consumption and creation, of portability and power, of new and familiar. And we're excited to show you more as our Windows 8 work continues. As we talked about in December, our next big Windows 8 milestone on the path to availability will come in late February. We hope you'll download it and check it out. So what we have coming in the future with Windows 8 is exciting. And we also have a lot of very cool things going on today. And nowhere is this more um, illustrated than through the range of stunning PCs that are available uh, right now. So I wanted to take just a very brief moment and give you a closer look at two of these ultra-portable new PCs that Steve was talking about that were announced earlier today. So here is this new HP NV14 Spectra Ultrabook. And it's very attractive with a glass design that's incredibly durable. And the sound, awesome, beats audio. This is a great PC for music lovers. And then we've got this next generation, Samsung Series 9. It's stunning. It's less than 13 millimeters thick and weighs just over two and a half pounds. One great thing I'll also add is it's now available in 15-inch. And this is really the first 15-inch ultra-portable that I've gotten to play with, and it is incredible. So check that one out um, as well. And then in addition to the PCs we have on display here, Dell is planning an announcement tomorrow about another amazing new ultrabook. So please uh, watch for that and check it out. This is the perfect time to get a new Windows PC. Windows 7 today, Windows 8 tomorrow. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Stephen Ryan. Good luck, Tammy. Thank you, thank you. Good luck with the New Year's resolution. The mac and cheese looks good right about now, too, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Amazing demos, amazing machines. Well, you, you know, Windows 7 is the best-selling operating system of all time. 500 million users on the planet for Windows 7. Uh, we're licensing about seven new copies a second, and by my calculation, I think that means by the time we wrap up today, there's probably 25,000 new Windows 7 users on this planet. That's pretty good, dude. I'm, I'm guessing, that's pretty I'm good, guessing dude. Math is right. That is pretty good. It's that, impressive. That's pretty and, good. And, and all those PCs up there will run Windows 8? Every Windows 7 PC will be ready for Windows 8 on day one. So these. 3 million people who have already come to our website and downloaded the Windows 8 preview, boom, they can do it from any Windows PC uh, ever made. Good news, good news.